but it looks like our Lance 1172 is coming apart. Yep, we have some issues that we have to check out, so we have to go into the bottom of the camper. That's right, we gotta tear the bottom of the camper off and check it out, see what's inside. Our Lance is not falling apart, it's just coming apart because we're gonna take it apart. Yeah. We gotta take the bottom of the camper off because our gray, gray tank valve is leaking. Uh, it's, it's sticking or it's leaking or the cable's busted or something. Yeah, you may have seen it in one of the last videos that we did while we were camping where we had water leaking out of the drain and so we have to fix it. And we got busted by the camp host. <laughs> So we got to fix it. Uh, thankfully, it's not the black tank. It's just the gray tank. So I either have to get in there and replace the, the whole valve or possibly just replace the cable. Uh, it may have come loose or broke or something like that. So I don't know. So we're going to take the camper apart, get in there, see what we need to do, uh, measure the length of the cable uh, that we need to replace, and go from there. So let's just dive on in and take it apart. What other problem we got going on with this camper, Carla? Water pump. Yeah, we also got to replace the water pump. It's leaking a little bit on our last camping trip. I got a new one down there in the box. So one thing I do love about Lance is this easy access to get to the water pump. So it's going to be very easy to swap it out. So we're going to tackle that later. But let's just go ahead and look down here. We got to get underneath the camper. So it's just a panel. Underneath that we're gonna have to remove, there's just screws all the way around. So we're just have to, gonna have to unscrew it. And hopefully just this whole panel will just drop down so we can look inside the belly of the lance. One thing I do hate about working on a truck camper is having to get underneath them. Kind of sketchy. You know, you're relying on the four legs of the camper I'm sure they're fine. Uh, right now I need to take some screws off across the front here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then I'm just gonna put some uh, some jack stands underneath it with a uh, six by six as some sort of sport just in case. I'm sure everything will be fine, but I'm gonna do that. But first I've gotta get these off and then I'll work my way on back. They're just short little screws. Some of them are long screws, some of them are short screws. What do you suppose that is? Because it was built on a Monday or a Friday. <laughs> half of it was built on Monday, half of it was built on Friday. Yeah. <laughs> All right, while well, the panel's coming down, just gonna try to get out from underneath it and kind of slowly work, work it out. Well, that's good. But the uh, foam is actually glued to the bottom of the panel, so they're all gonna stay right in position, so that's pretty awesome. Hey, they did that right. Uh-oh, there's rat droppings in there. Let's see any mice turds in there. I do. I see a lot of little black spots, but. Right there. Oh, that one might be. Yeah. Well, no, that's, the, that's one of those bug shells. No, this. Oh it's, no, you're that's right. Same, that's those bug shells. Bug shells, oh, it looks like mice droppings. Yeah. Okay, okay, maybe not. I was wrong. Okay, fossil arm. We're good. <laughs> Let's pull this thing out. All right, so who wants to see the inside of a Lance 1172? If you do, put 1172 in the comments. That'd be cool. Let's dive on under and take a look. All right, there we are. Yeah, look at the size of that freshwater tank. It's huge. Dang. So it's... Look at all this aluminum bracing, the whole frame, structure. Let me step back here, slide back here. So towards the front, we got some aluminum straps with some two by fours. They're holding up uh, the black tank. So that's a big black tank, 35 gallon black tank. Or yeah, that's right, 35 gallon. Is that the black tank or is this? This is the black tank oh, okay. over here, okay. I do believe. And then the, the output, let me zoom out here. So the 
output is over here on this side for the black tank, for the cable, there's the valve right there. Look at the cable. Yeah, they got real long cable, cables. So, so you got the black tank, the fresh tank, and then that should be the gray tank down there. I'm pretty sure that is the correct routing. So there is a panel, if you look outside the camper, there's two access panels here, and that takes us underneath to this area here, to the back side of that panel there, and you can get to some of the wiring, and you can basically get to the drain for the shower that way, so access to that. I can get the camera up in there. And see the drain and some duct work. It's going up in there. So it's a big freshwater tank. I believe it's 42 gallons. So there's the black cable pole. And then here is the gray. So yeah, they got the cables actually looped around. Yes. It doesn't really have to be quite that long, I guess, but the cable does, does need to be in a fairly big loop or, or stretched out. You don't want it like turn sharp because it, it needs to be able to pull. pull on it, yeah. So this is what I need to get to. Here's the, here's the valve right there. It, uh, uh, I forget what type of valve that is. I don't think that's a Valterra, maybe there's a, there's a few, like three different types. So I'm gonna have to figure that out. So I don't know if the cable is messed up or if I'm gonna have to replace the whole valve. See there, I probably just pushed it shut actually. I did. See, I see it's, it's like. It's yeah, so I can, I can open the valve. Oh, sorry. There, I can open the valve just by grabbing that cable and pushing it shut. The tank is empty right now. Yeah, um, so, so Carla's over there. She's going to pull out the gray valve. It yeah, it's going out. Okay. Now push it in. All the way in. Okay, now leave it there. Okay. Let me see if I can push it some more. Yeah. Okay, pull it back out. I push it back in. Okay, so it's all the way in at the handle, but the valve is not actually all the way in. So if I push on it, yeah, there's just a little bit more. There's probably a quarter inch worth of valve that that valve is not closing all the way. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna have to look and see if I can adjust it or if I gotta replace it. So let me dive into that and we'll get back to you. So here again, here's the underside of our Lance 1172. It looks like a very well-built system they got here. No complaints, looks like it's nice and strong. They got some channel aluminum there, whole, tying everything together. The uh, regular aluminum frame, that's where the the bottom screwed into right there and across. And then across the back, you can obviously see some of the wood that makes the, goes up to hold the floor. The floor to the camper is right up there. You can see some duct work. You can see a open vent to help heat the basement. So really things are quite accessible if you just take the bottom of the camper off. I'm pretty happy with that because not all truck campers have access to, you know, the tanks and the valves and everything, you know, easily. Hence, if you've ever seen our first Northern Light and all the repairs we did, Northern Light, in my opinion, is probably the worst camper to have to work on if you got to get into the basement. 
because there is no access unless you go through the, take the basement door off and crawl in and lay on your belly. Here's a better view of the valve. And on this side, I can actually see that it is a Valterra valve. So I can actually find the actual model of what it is to be able to replace it. And uh, just four bolts and it'll slide out. I think you can just replace this cable, but you know, I don't know, I may just replace the whole thing because why not? Because it's there and it is nine years old. And I'll probably go ahead and get one that's the 96 inch cable. It's hard to tell how much cable is in here, but there's probably about three feet in that loop, about four foot here and then another foot to here, so there's five. And then, so I'm gonna probably go ahead and get a 96 inch. Better to have it too long than too short, and then you can just loop it up and uh, should be good to go, so. Since I'm waiting on the cable valve to get here, which actually should be here sometime today so I can get the gray tank fixed, I already have the water pump, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that in. Should be pretty easy, but who knows? Famous last words, I've never put one in, but it looks pretty easy. Let's take a look. So here on the side of our lance, got an easy access, just open up the door, get right to the water pump. You got a water fitting there on that side and another over here on this side and uh, just a couple, couple wires. So hopefully should, shouldn't be too bad. I'll go ahead and undo the, the fittings, put a towel down below and uh, then loosen. There's four screws that mount the pump to the wall and a couple wires. So I'll go ahead and jump on into this thing. Yes, there's a towel down here. Takes a square bit. Undo these screws. This water pump is the original, dated May of 2014 when it was made. these wires at the moment get that out of there so here's the pump that I got it's the exact same pump from the original so I'm not gonna try to reinvent the wheel I'm just gonna put the exact same pump back on to make it easy so everything lines up I'm gonna wire it back in and plumb it back up I do have to put this little filter thing on that it came with because the other pump has it you can see the old pump has it right, right there. You can see it as well. So I need to put that on here. It says just hand tight. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this together and wire it in. All right, now I'm just gonna go and screw it back in place. we go, it's all installed. I'm gonna go inside and turn the water pump on and check it. My camper shows that it has some water in the tank, but not much, so I'm gonna go ahead and add some to it just to be safe before I turn the pump on and really let it run. Okay, now that we got plenty of water in the tank, I'm gonna go ahead and go inside, turn the pump on, just check it, make sure everything's working fine on the inside. Come back out and check it, make sure there's no leaks. There it is, it just stopped. So far, it seems much quieter. Let me go back in and hopefully it's quiet on the inside. All right, well that's it, water pump's in. Now I can get back to the, the valve on the gray tank. Now, if you're interested in this pump, I'll put a link down below, I got it on Amazon. It's the standard SureFlow pump uh, and it's 55 PSI and that sort of thing. Works great. We're back, we got the valve. We're ready for the install. Just wanted to go over what we got. We got a, I, I went ahead and purchased a 96 inch. I wasn't sure how long it needed to be. So 96 inch was, uh, figured plenty. So, uh, and the valve, it's a, it's a one and a half inch valve. It's basically two inch OD, one inch, or one and a half inch ID on the, on the pipe down there. So it's considered a one and a half inch. Got the Valterra. So we're just gonna disconnect the other one install the, the valve part and then we're gonna have to run the cable feed it back up to the camper and run it back out to where the 
uh, control is on the side of the camper. Let's get to it. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start by loosening these four bolts and drop this part out, and then we'll try to route the wire. Warning, it might be stinky. Although you can't smell it. <laughs> I don't have smell of vision. No. I guess I'm just warning us. <laughs> Your nose. Oh. There's a seal just fell out of it. <laughs> Clean that up. And pull it out. Make it nice and new so I can put the new one in. This is not a how to, it's a how we do. <laughs> a how we do it video here. It might be a how to. It might be a how to. It's pretty easy. <laughs> not a big deal at all, really. So next up, we're working in a tight space here, but I'm gonna come around here, take that valve, take the handle off of that and pull that cable through. It goes down through that lower area, comes out up there and right to the valve, to the pipe. Okay, here comes the, the end of it, I see it. Okay. There it is. There it is. Thanks. <laughs> oh, it'd be a whole lot easier if we weren't in the garage. So this is the new valve, and I'm getting ready to take this flange off so that we can, we, we don't need this flange part because it's already on there. It's actually glued. What we need is the main valve part. So I'm gonna take the, this off of this so we can slide this up into the, the valve spot there. This is like not super tight on here. So with this new valve, this is the flange that come on it. We're gonna take the new seals out of the new flange and put them on the flange that came on the camper. And then slide the valve up in there. And then slide the valve up in there. All right. Go ahead and pick up the valve there and let's, let's open and close it here. Right. There it's open. It's, it's a blade valve. Just in case something gets stuck. Yep, everything, everything looks good. <laughs> in case uh, something gets stuck in there, it'll cut it. Yeah, you know, cut it right off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we gotta try to feed the end of the cable up through the camper and out to the control area. I put my, uh, duct tape on the end so it wouldn't. Keep the handle from... Yeah, keep the handle from moving uh, perpendicular instead of... Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Okay, we got got it. It. All right. That was easier than I thought it was gonna be. Speak too soon, huh? Okay. <laughs> Okay, I got the valve up there. Just gonna loop the cord around. You want a nice big loop. Um, getting these back up in there is gonna be the tricky part. Looks like. I'll try to put them on the valve itself, slide them up in there. If I can hopefully keep them in place. Okay, we're all done, valve's in. Hopefully we're done. We're gonna go run some water in the sink and uh, that'll not only will that check our water pump, but it's gonna check and make sure this valve is not leaking. So uh, here we go. So it's been several days since I put the water pump in and uh, it's been holding pressure to turn the pump on and it didn't uh, make a you know motor noise. So that means it should, should have been holding pressure, so let's go ahead and run some water. Oh, it's quiet. Yeah. Wow. It's 
quieter a little bit. Yeah, but it's so. not as, definitely not as loud. It's not as loud as it was. It was really loud before. The water pump? Yeah, the water pump. It still gets a little loud in the uh, bathroom. Because yeah. it's right behind the shower wall. Well, that's good news. We ran the valve and nothing's dripping into this bucket. So that's good news. So let me go up here and pull the valve. And check that. And see this right here? The valve. This is what saved the day when the when the main drift valve was leaking, this attachment valve. We'll show that in a moment. All right, and go ahead and shut it off. So this is the old one. So when I push it in, it doesn't quite close all the way because if I take push this, it goes in some more. Oh, yeah. On the camper. It came with one of these extra valves that screws onto the bottom of the of where you screw on your your drain hose. So that way, it just adds a as a third uh, valve, you know, other than the black and the gray. Um, this one came on there. However, I did always carry a, a brand new spare one just in case. So the, the labels worn off on this one. This one's a Valterra twist on valve. So. I would highly recommend getting one of these and just having it with you because if one of your tanks leaks, especially the black, you can screw this on and then shut it off and then you're good until you can actually replace the valve. And you won't get fined a thousand dollars by the park. Yeah, that's right. So uh, you can get these. I think I got this one on Amazon several years ago. So we'll put a link below. Yeah, link below on that. So get one of these. Well, that's about it. We got the valve fixed and put in a new water pump. So that's pretty awesome. Yeah, very productive. Yeah, looking forward to going camping now. All, all we got to do is put the bottom back on the camper. So that's not a big deal. Just screw that back up and then we're ready to go. So if you need to tackle one of those valves on the Lance 1172, all you got to do is pull the bottom off, which is pretty easy. And uh, it was really pretty straightforward. Yeah, it was. I probably couldn't have done it by myself, but us together, we did it. Yeah, it wasn't bad. And the water pump is actually very easy as well. So if you need to tackle one of those projects, go for it, give it a shot. If you're just a little bit handy, I'm sure you can do it. Hope you learned something. Hope you enjoyed the video. Appreciate you watching. Please like, subscribe, share, and we'll see you next time on Runaway Roses. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.